Module 1, Making the Connection. Welcome to Module 1, Orient. This module focuses around the essential question, how do faculty and students make sense of a new online learning environment? This presentation provides you with an example of one way that content can be delivered to students. The notes area can be used to place your lecture material or other additional texts that support the information presented on the slides. Overview of teaching and learning in new environments. Although the idea is perhaps counterintuitive, technology can actually increase student engagement in learning. The use of well-designed learning activities supported by technologies that encourage student interaction with faculty, with their classmates, and with the content can result in higher order thinking skills. The thoughtful use of technology for learning can also teach students ways to organize information and collaboration skills, which can endure past the course and even into their work in home lives. Interactivity can be thought of as an interaction among students, between yourself and your students, and between students and the content. As you begin to design your first unit of instruction, I encourage you to apply the idea of interactivity to your assignments. The structure and direction you build into assignments, the assistance you give students in organizing their learning and collaboration, and the feedback you give during and after an assignment are key areas to focus on while redesigning learning activities. Teaching and learning in an online environment. As you start to think about the online learning environment, it is worth taking a step back in considering the benefits and the challenges the online environment offers us. While deep learning still takes place, for instructors it becomes less about being the sage on the stage explaining it all, though to be fair many of us do not solely operate in this fashion, to operating more as a facilitator and creating an environment to heighten the learning opportunities and interactions with the content, other students, and you as the instructor. The removal of the physical presence can be challenging for some faculty as it leaves us with one of our most essential forms of feedback, body language. What this means is that as facilitators, we have to find ways to create a positive environment where we will be able to pick up the cues and concerns of our students. Learning online also looks different. As an asynchronous environment, it can be challenging to feel part of a class and the student must navigate his or her own way through a course. Think about your first day coming into this course. Did you feel any anxiety or confusion? Was there any trepidation about what you were doing? Was there a moment of hesitation in posting your syllabus? Did you double check it, wondering what your peers would think? You may not have felt any concern, or there may have been some element of alert in coming into this environment. Students are going to experience the same thing in many different ways, often to a larger degree, as they may be less self-assured than we are. It is important to tune into the ways in which learning and interaction change in some ways and remain the same in others. Characteristics of a successful online instructor. Successful online instructors pay heed to several important elements of their course and how it plays out through the semester. Instructors will want to provide clear and specific details with regards to assignments, due dates, expectations, and overall flow of the course. Many a student will find himself, herself, frustrated by vague guidelines. Write a paper about subject X using three sources. Confusing due dates, listed on the calendar as one date, on the syllabus as a different date, and listed on assignment submission space as a third date. Hypocritical standards, telling them their papers must be in perfect grammar and spelling, but then having ample spelling mistakes throughout your course and unclear course directions, not specifying how assignments are to be submitted or in what format. Consistency, clarity, and responsiveness are the central hallmarks of a good online instructor, and it is of no surprise they are regularly desired elements in a face-to-face -face instructor too. Characteristics of a successful online student. Some students are natural online learners. They are self-motivated and know how to properly plan out their week to make sure the work gets done in an orderly fashion. They are comfortable in asking for help, but are also capable and do well working on their own. They want more freedom to move through the material and interact with it at their chosen times and places. 
That is not to say they complete it when they want, regardless of deadlines, but they appreciate setting their own schedules with relation to established deadlines. However, that will not be the entire class. That is not to say they cannot be or take on the attributes of successful online students, but the instructor needs to help them identify the skills they will need in order to complete the course properly. This can take the form of clarifying the degree and level of work needed early on through the course orientation or as part of the syllabus so that students can make an informed decision about how to go about their work. Teaching and learning in a hybrid environment. Unlike online courses, instructors of hybrid courses get to see their students face to face. However, depending on the format of the hybrid, when they encounter each other may vary. The challenge of hybrid learning is thinking about how the face-to-face -face and online components mesh together in order to enhance learning and not just repeat learning. A good hybrid makes the pieces interdependent, hence why the term blended is so often used. It is not just doing more homework outside the class as some would treat it, but creating the environment for purposeful and important learning for students, whether it be additional content, for example, the flipped classroom, individual peer interactions, group discussions, or further interactions with the instructor. Many of us are familiar in doing this to a smaller degree through forms such as having students watch a documentary in lieu of class, having students meet on their own in lieu of class for a group project, or even meet with students one-on-one -on -one for student-teacher conferences. Characteristics of a successful hybrid instructor. Instructors want to make sure they sufficiently and substantively explain upfront the rhythm of their specific hybrid course. As hybrid can take many forms, making sure students know exactly what face-to-face -face and online time consists of is tantamount to supporting your students. Instructors also want to make sure they choose the right type of assignment, assessment, and activity for the right environment. Some activities may lend themselves well to the online environment, while others are better in the face-to-face -face classroom. A successful instructor will consider what is best for learning or experiencing the activity more than what the instructor may feel more comfortable with. Characteristics of a successful hybrid student. Students that do well in hybrid classes enjoy the variety that the format offers. They also appreciate and recognize the change dynamic of face-to-face -face time where they feel more encouraged to bring in outside material and engage with the instructor about course materials more so than in a traditional lecture classroom. They enjoy and value the moving beyond the course textbook in finding other ways of making sense of the course, but still have the opportunity to be challenged in the face-to-face -face setting. They recognize, immediately or in hindsight, that the hybrid environment gives them more autonomy and more responsibility to work with than a traditional classroom. Active learning and student-centered learning. Much of successful online and hybrid learning focuses on the idea of active learning and student-centered learning. At the core of active learning is the belief that the learner is not passive in his or her education. This viewpoint moves beyond looking at the classroom as a place where the instructor provides information and the students, almost uncritically, consumes information. Instead, learning is approached as a lively process in which both instructor and student explore the course through dialogue and interaction. Coupled with that is student-centered learning, which approaches learning by considering what is best for the student's learning experience, not necessarily what is easiest for the instructor. A great example of this is changing the way to evaluate students from the traditional multiple choice exam which is easy to grade, to something that might play upon the student's strengths more, a portfolio, presentation, or non-traditional assignment. That is not to say that such things as multiple choice tests should be removed, but instead should be applied when it seems the best for the student's learning, as opposed to the ease of the instructor's experience. Best Practices, Quality Guidelines. 
Course Kickoff. Instructions are included that clearly let students know how to get started in the course and where to find various course components. Orientation, start here materials are included in the course with course orientation, syllabus, course schedule, instructor introduction, information on how to work through the weekly content, communications expectations around how students communicate with the instructor and classmates, for example, email, discussion forums, group projects, and how the instructor will communicate with the students, for example, avenues, times, and turnarounds with communications and feedback for assignments, are clearly defined. Course and institutional policies, academic integrity, late submissions, etc. Minimum technical skills expected of students to be successful in the course. Technical support available and how to access it. Information on or links to institutional student support services and resources. Disability services, academic support, library, etc. For hybrid courses, it is important to make sure that Online and face-to-face -face activities are integrated. Decisions about putting activities online or face-to-face -face should be intentional, appropriate, and have pedagogical rationales. The relationship between the face-to-face -face and online components is explained. Students should understand what they are expected to do before, during, and after each face-to-face -face meeting. Assessments are appropriately balanced between online and face-to-face -face module. The specific hybrid format is explicitly addressed within the course material and when relevant communicated in advance of the start of the course. Questions. Please feel free to post them in the questions forum or send me an email lance.eaton at regiscollege.edu. Thank you very much.